All right, guys, so obviously when you're working on things, uh, problems happen. So there you go, the rear hub is removed. Um, Welcome back to the channel. My name's Warwick, and you're watching Gas Tax. Behind me is my 2004 VW R32. This has been my project car for the last couple months, and I am trying to make it into my ice racing machine. Unfortunately, it's mid-January, and the lakes still aren't uh, ice race ready. So this might just be my summer rally and track machine. But anyways, today we're going to be working on the rear. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, um, I've done quite a bit to the front end here, so I will leave a link right here or here where you guys can actually check out all the other videos I have working on my R32. But last video, I put on the rear control arms. Uh, today, I am going to be removing the rear hub assembly on this side. The other one's removed. This one was just giving me trouble, so I've waited a while, put some... Uh, anti-seize or spray whatever it's called to hopefully break up the rust and then I'm going to be putting on the rear shocks the springs spring cushions and I just ordered these um, brake pad springs if you will for the front because my car didn't come with it uh, to stop these from vibrating so I need to work on that stay tuned hopefully this rear hub comes off easy I gotta get that nut off, which was the problem, and then I'll be assembling all of this fun stuff so I can get ready to put the rotors and the calipers on. So let's jump right into it. I removed the nut. That was good. That's been soaking for about uh, two weeks. I've been spraying it uh, periodically with uh, this. If you have a nut that's stuck, give that a go. It didn't seem to work the first couple days that I used it, but I kept, uh, you know, spraying it on every now and then. So right now I need to use a puller to remove the rear hub. Um, ideally I'd want a three arm grip, but I don't have one. This is all I have. Hopefully it will work. If it doesn't, I have to run to Napa and rent one or buy one. Let's jump into it and see if it works. Alright guys, so obviously when you're working on things, uh, problems happen. So there you go, the rear hub is removed, um, but this bearing is shot. So I'm going to remove the other hub, try to get this bearing out, figure out how to get it out, run to the store, get a bearing, hopefully they have them, and then, yeah, work on installing it. Forever young, or am I faking on the tip of my Guys, I don't know if I'm doing any of this right, um, but I tell you what, there's no videos on rear hub removal for the R32. But what was holding up is obviously this bushing. I don't know if the bushing or the bearing is that seized up that it makes this terrible if I'm doing it wrong but you know it's a lot of work to get this rear hub off I think it's a bearing corrosion issue but I guess I'll find out uh, so both the rear hubs are off both the bearings are destroyed I'm gonna have to figure out how to get them off uh, I might have to take this whole knuckle off which I don't want to but I will uh, the whatever ring this is that keeps the bushing in is so corroded in there I sprayed some uh, whatever stuff on it that ring on that side actually broke a bit um, and bearings need to be pushed out so I believe I gotta undo my rear control arms which is fine because somebody just informed me I should grease these up, otherwise they seize up real bad. Uh, I'll put anti-seize in the threads here, so if I need adjustment, I can. Looks like this uh, easy little project's not going to be that easy today, but that's what I'm working on. This stuff's going to have to wait, 
while I figure out this stuff. There's a sarcasm waiting for you. that thing whatever it's called it was rusted all in there the tool that actually pinches it closed to pull it out would have snapped before that did so a couple of chisels and hammers so yeah it looks like obviously I'm gonna have to take this whole knuckle off undo these which is fine it's really only two bolts I don't know if those bearings will be pushed out based on how rusted they look in there there's two of these on eBay right now not cheap um, two knuckles for $129 each plus $20 shipping. They already have all of this on still, which is a pain. I'd rather have it fresh. But as I mentioned in a previous video, this whole rear knuckle here is $750 on ECS tuning. So, anyways, I'm going to work on removing the that thingy from the other side. And then I'll take the whole knuckle off and... I guess I'll run to VW, see if they can press these out, and if they even want to, they probably won't. I have to go to an actual independent shop, and if not, just buy the other ones I found online. So let's jump into that. Uh, another problem, but it's what you get for working on an old car. Let's jump into it. Well, guys, let me show you what I'm working with to remove the rear <laughs> no i really don't want to but i kind of have to uh, i think this is the abs sensor sorry that's the abs sensor here's the brake line then here's the handbrake line i think this just pops off when you pull it all out these pop off i have to unscrew the abs sensor right here which will probably snap um but that's what i got to do to remove this i've already undone the control arm bolts there are four bolts that connect this to the frame. That's what I'm working with now. I've removed this clip here for the brake line. It looks like I just need to unbolt. I'm gonna do that, just unbolt this brake line, leave this brake line attached to the actual knuckle. I'll undo that, because it doesn't look like it pops out without undoing that. And yeah. So all fun stuff. Uh, let's see how far I get. <laughs> lot of stuff to remove um, one thing I did for this uh, ABS sensor here I unbolted it I didn't need to because halfway up it just unclips and then you can just unclip from the actual frame so don't do that if you're doing this um, there's this brake line that I left on here then it's joined to that rubber brake line uh, there's a uh, uh, what's it called the bracket that goes right here and then there's this bracket as well so this goes to the rubber brake line the rubber brake brake lines here obviously because this moves up and down i forgot to remove this brake line from the actual back to the the metal brake line over here so just remember you got to remove two brake lines uh connections an abs connection obviously your control arms uh, and now this baby's off. So I'm gonna evaluate how good of condition this is to see if I should buy the other ones. These have 160, 768,000 miles on it, when the ones on eBay have 80,000 miles. I'm gonna remove the other side now that I know how to or what to remove, and then we'll jump into this. But remember, the main reason I removed this is because. I need that bearing pressed out. So, I'm going to spray some whatever it is in there now, penetrating oil, just so it has time to soak. 
on to the next side. Well, I decided to order the ones on eBay. Um, going through here, let's break it down. Bearings apparently is every 100,000 miles. New bearings for 60 bucks. Um, this thing's pretty rusted. I can't even get this bolt loose to replace these bushings. Uh, yeah. So I was lucky enough to find two, I've been watching them on eBay for about two weeks, uh, that look much better condition than this. 80,000 miles on the car, so if the bearings do last to 100,000 miles, uh, I still got 20,000 miles on those bearings. Uh, it also has the hub, and it is actually all still black from being like new, if you will. So I'm not gonna get rid of these, I am going to you know, maybe get these center bearings pushed out here. Um, see if I can, you know, at least keep this in case I need it. I'll keep it for maybe three months and then probably get rid of it. So that's where I stand. Uh, not really what I want to do. I guess I will check back with you in a couple days when I receive these. And then I'll finish this video. For the meantime, I'm going to work on something else. And we're back. It has been five days for me and three seconds for you. We just got a box in the mail today and it is our new parts. So these babies have 170,000 miles on them, rusted to pieces. Uh, these ones look substantially better on the eBay listing and they have 80,000 miles on it. So let's get unboxing. Fingers crossed that these look as good as they did online so we can get this back together. So, I just got a notification that Humble Mechanics doing a live stream. Down in there so I'm gonna pause the unboxing. Just finished the live stream, back to the unboxing. And there we have it guys. These look a world of a difference here. Just looking over here, you can see how, I don't know, you can't. Very rusty, everything. These look very good. <laughs> uh, surprisingly good. The ABS sensors on them, they don't have a brake line. This is on them, that holds the brake line. Uh, so I need to transfer this brake line to here, but I can do that once these are actually mounted. Everything here looks pretty good. I'm not even going to replace the hub assemblies. I will leave these for another day. As long as the bolt pattern's the same, which I will double check, it should be. I hope so, fingers crossed. And what else? What else? I am super impressed with how these look. Trying to get through the door, although the room's already crowded. But I'll keep shining over you all with your wings and twining. You better face the phone, keep trying to get. Oh yeah, keep trying. I got one on. It looks uh, a world of a difference that it's, you know, looking more new. It's definitely a two-person job. It's not easy. So if you're ever replacing these, get a buddy or six. So I haven't talked down these bolts in the back. I haven't tightened these ones yet. Um, I'm going to install the other side first. Then I will torque everything down 
and then remark the nuts with the blue dot here these ones I tightened already because I didn't think I'd be taking this off and I marked them but I'm gonna jump to the other side that took me about 30 minutes let's see if I can beat my record time alright guys well we got the left one back on the right one back on you know mission accomplished for getting new rear hub assemblies <laughs> so this project really was uh, I don't know, a week-long project to get this off the hub assembly off to realize I can't I'm not gonna mess around with pushing these out because pushing things out here doesn't seem to work other than my hernia that seems to push out pretty well anyways uh, so the rear is done I will do the rear calipers, rotors, springs and shocks next. So be sure to subscribe to check that out. The whole rear will be set up. Um, and then I will be able to put the wheels on. Also, I am picking up my ice tires this week. I'm also picking up my seats, which I had customized a bit. I think you guys might love them, but a lot of you will hate them. So that should be cool so that's something to look forward to over the next couple videos the car will be on the wheels we'll start working on the interior i definitely might throw in that front driver's seat and take this baby for a spin anyways until next time thanks a lot i'll see you then <laughs>